hi guys today's video is all about learning how to make a wealth pocket and i'm not going to lie making a wealth pocket is one of the most difficult types of pockets to learn and i honestly used to have problems with it when i was still a beginner yes i made a lot of nonsense wealth pockets back in the day till i finally got the hack and today i'm going to be showing you step by step how you can easily make yours so tap the subscribe button guys and let's ride so guys for today's um world pocket tutorial these are the pieces you need this one is like um this one is just a 10 by 10 um fabric 10 by 10 inches fabric to represent the trouser or skirt or whatever type of um, dress or outfit you want to place your welt pocket on this is my actual welt triangle and I'm the, i've already interfaced this so this is um i have this as how many inches this is nine by five inches so i have this right here and then this is my shallow pocket bag this one is to line um the pockets underneath and this is the deep pocket bag so i'll be showing you how to place all of this but first let's start with step one so for step one on my actual if you are doing this on a skirt or on a trouser you're going to mark out the opening uh, that is how wide or and how high you want your um welt to be so for me i want it at exactly like this so i want it from the top of my um let's assume this is a skirt or a trouser okay let's assume this is a trouser so from the top of my trouser i want this at exactly three inches away from the top of my trouser and this is three inches here marked down i hope you can see it and this is three inches here marked down and then the um height how high i want my uh, my um what's it called world to be is exactly three quarter inches so from here to here is three quarter inches from here down here is three quarter inches and from here look at this other one is the same thing three quarter inches so i have it at exactly two inches away from the side here so from the side here this is two inches away so this is my actual world so i'm going to draw a line on that now and this is the opening of my world triangle so um this is my uh, i said world triangle this is the opening of my world pocket so this is my world rectangle and i'm going to place this is like um exactly i just cut like exactly nine inches here and five inches right here so i'm going to place this i'm going to measure out one and a half inches from each side here and then from the top here i'll measure one inch up and this is marked down so from this this part here up here is one inch up so that's from here up here that is one inch so from this point here i'm going to mark down five inches and these marks are just so that i can accurately place my rect uh, my um, welt rectangle on top of my trouser or skirt piece so now i'm just going to place this like this but before i do that the same thing i have here this rectangle here i'm going to draw the same thing right here i can still see it see through clearly i can see, still see it clearly so the same um well rectangle that i have here i'm going to draw it here now i'm going to place this the reason why i drew this rectangle on both sides is because when i place this here i won't be able to see and i will be able to draw the same rectangle on top of this it won't show clearly and i don't want to use my chalk to do it it won't be accurate so yeah i'm going to now place this this way using the marks that i marked down earlier so i have these pins down so it won't move around so at the wrong side here remember that this is going to be placed right sides together 
with your actual trousers so let's assume this is the right side of my trouser so we are placing this right side together so at the wrong side right here i'm going to sew this down i'm going to sew along this rectangle so i'll sew here sew here sew here so yes just so that it keeps both the world rectangle and the trouser together so i'm just going to do that now and this is it right here so i'm just going to go ahead to iron this part i'll iron it smoothly just so that it is neat and then i'll iron this part also smoothly just so that it's really neat and it's easier for me when i want to turn it inside so before i do that i'm going to draw a line in the middle here to divide this box into two and then i'll draw a diagonal line also here so this is half inch away from the end here half inch away from the end here half inch away from the end here so i'm going to draw a diagonal line that way so i'm going to cut this at the center all the way and then follow this way not true a bit away i'm not going to get to the end here i'm just going to cut snip it snip it snip it all the way but not so that it um opens up my trouser here because if you cut all the way through to the thread that you have sewn here um it's going to create holes in your pants in your trouser when you when you are done so you the trick is to just keep cutting until you get just a bit away so i'm going to do that now and also iron this so i already ironed this you can see and the iron this So now I'm going to snip it. And now I already cut this. You can see. Now I'm going to pull this inside. Because you know this is the right side of our fabric. This is the right side. This side the right side of my um skirt or trousers. So I'm going to pull this inside now. now you can decide you want it open like this or you can decide to like push a bit maybe like one inch or half inch you can decide to push it this way just so that this place keeps it closed and then you iron it flat so you go to iron this flat so once you iron it flat you can either decide to top stitch it just to keep everything nice and neat so you can top stitch this round this way this way just to keep it all nice and neat and also remember depending on the type of design you want for your world pocket if you want it like this way that uh this way you can do it this way but if you want it like to make sure both of them kiss each other like in the center you can fold this just a bit like this and then make sure you fold this also just a bit so it ultimately really depends on the style design that you want for your world pocket so now i'm just going to go iron it now like i mentioned and also top stitch this round and i have it top stitched you can see that Please don't mind the water on it. I use that to iron the, the pocket. Now, this completes our welt pocket. So, depending for the pocket bag, just so that, you know, if you put your hand into this, we don't want to be seeing our panties when you open your pocket. So, we, ha we have to put like a pocket lining. So, depending on how deep you want your pocket to be that is why i have two pocket bags here so two pocket linings so if you want it shallow that's why i have a shallow this is a shallow pocket bag and this is just like how many inches this is nine by nine by five and a half inches so i'll just place this this way i'll make sure 
this i hope you can see what i'm doing this the top here will face the top here and then what you do is you sew it down by half inch right here so you sew it by half inch at the top and then you pick this part also and then you sew it by half inch here so by the time you are sewing done sewing this part it folds over like this or you start with the bottom first so you sew sew it together like this by half inch then once you are done this would come this way and then you sew the top also by half inch to keep everything closed so this for this the pocket bag will be shallow it will not be really deep so depending on how deep you want your pockets to be you can either decide to make a larger pocket bag and this is a larger pocket bag here so you sew this by half inch also at the top here and then you sew this by half inch also at the lower part here so by the time you are done sewing this will come this way it will come like this i hope you get the drift so i'm just going to sew that now and then once i'm done sewing i'll come to the side right here and then i'll sew this down close not on top here close to the edge of my um triangle here but it will not be on top of this so close to this i'll sew down here and then i'll come right here and then i'll do the same thing so i'm just going to do all of that now so you can see what it looks like so and for me i'm going to be using my deep pocket bag so deep deep pocket bag is exactly nine and a half by nine and a half by ten inches so let's do this so the but another tip I, i'll give you also is to make sure your pocket bag is in the same fabric as as your actual trouser fabric because once you open your pocket this will be showing your pocket bag will be showing underneath or if you want it depends on you if you want to design it you can also decide to use this if there isn't two different types of fabric you can also decide to use the fabric you use for your weld so yeah and this is my pocket bag sewn down you can see like i explained earlier and then at the top here so this is going to fold over this way now to finish up the sides because this is still this part is still exposed here you can see my hand finger still coming out so to finish up the side you're going to come to this part here to the side here and then you pack everything like i explained earlier so you sew down on top of this triangular edge you sew this all the way to the ground you can decide to trim the excess once you are done um sewing this down to reduce bulk so you can also iron this part this bit down just so that everything remains um flat and neat so to reduce bulk on your pocket so you can iron this part flat down and then you sew this and then you do the same also for the other side so you sew this down also and now i'm going to do all of that now i hope you get the drift so all you need to do is just sew this straight down and then sew this straight down and you can see that i've done that Let's look at my stitches and then look at the stitches of the other side too and that completes your world pocket i hope this was easy to follow if you have any questions please don't hesitate to type it in the comment section so that i can reply um i can reply as soon as i can so yeah this is my pocket this is what it looks like at the wrong side you can decide to cut off excess the excess here and also always remember to finish all your raw edges as you sew 
so before you even decide to sew this side you already know that once you attach your pocket bag you have to like finish the raw edges at the top finish the raw edges here and then also finish the raw edges here before you sew this at the side at all so yeah this completes our uh, welt pockets piece so don't beat yourself over it if you try this the first time and you don't get it because even for me that is um showing you how to do it i tried countless of times over the years for me to be able to know how to um make it now please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video if you found it helpful and turn on the notifications bell right beside the subscribe button just so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos when i post them you can also check out these two tutorials popping up on your screen right about now if you haven't yet seen them before i'll see you in my next video bye